Hey guys, Kaja here and welcome back to another review. Now today we are reviewing the variations of Rod Talk Redline, the damaged one and the normal one here as you can see. This was suggested by DMC Xbox 51, so thank you very much for the um, suggestion. Um, so Rod Talk Redline, he appeared in Cars 2 obviously, he was the American agent which Mater was throughout the film before they finally found out that he was just a tow truck. Um, Rod appeared um, as an undercover car uh, disguised as a gremlin, just like Grem, but with the only difference being he had a green stripe, which was never actually released, but you never know, it could be released in a few years' time when Cars 3 Hype has died down, um, which would be a cool release. So you see him as that right at the beginning of the film in the oil rig, uh, like he's talking to Professor Z about the camera, asking what it does and all that. Um, we also see him in the toilet scene where Mate is in there and Acer and Grem, they come in. Um, sorry about that, hit the camera now. They come in and Rod's behind in front of them and then they go to smash up him. And then we also see him um, in the sort of warehouse um, where he is smashed up like this, just that he has clamp song, which I think was a cancelled release. Yeah, it was a cancelled release. Um, and uh, he's sort of tired, sort of trapped because of the clamps, but his back wheels are going, which then the camera is is sort of beamed on him which causes his engine to explode equally and he dies so quite a quite a, de a dark scene for a kids film but we've seen McQueen's crash in Cars 2 as well you couldn't really see it unless you looked really closely into that screen of Mater and um, Rod where you could just see him this sort of body behind with the flames so it's quite a dark scene but Cars 3 no Cars 2 sorry was quite dark in certain moments um, but obviously not many people did like it and maybe maybe that was why I'm not too sure um, as for this Rotor Redline the damaged one he was released in a double pack um, with Grem that is actually how they were placed as well in the 2011 Port of Corsa series never released again like I said it could be released in the future but there's quite a slim chance of that and the normal Rotor Redline I'm pretty sure was only released in a single so I think maybe in one multi-pack or something, but he had very, very small releases, um, which was a bit strange, but because um, I suppose he wasn't a really big main character, but it's, I would still expect him to have more than one release anyway, unless he did have another release. If you know where he was released, please tell me in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, as for where he is in, in the movie, and that is about it for his um, releases, um, so I guess all we can do is get on to the review now of the normal Rotor Redline. So, he is, I think he sort of portrays the likes of a Dodge Charger mixed with sort of like a Mustang kind of thing. But more towards the Dodge Charger sort of or Challenger kind of thing because he's got the same sort of front grill there. As you can see it kind of got the Dodge Challenger kind of look and the back is kind of the same. My one complaint with him is his I think his wind mirrors are far too big, very easy to snap off, snap off as well, I can imagine. They need to be shortened down, like down to here, and they don't need, I think, I wish they didn't stick out as much. Or he wouldn't have any at all, just some little ones. I think that would look better, because he just they're just too big, that they stick out so wide. So that would probably be better if they did. And another complaint is that they did in a mouth plate, but that was quite common with most cars from 2011. Um, near enough probably all of them and his plastic eyes as well um, one difference is the the I think he was released in a multi pack because the ones that was released in a multi pack had a blue line across the bottom whereas you can see my one is from the single so it has a little white bump a, a line at the bottom which is white which is really hard to tell but I don't know which one looks better but I don't really know to be honest um, you can see we've got his fog lights there which are pretty cool um, he's got a pretty sort of chill, not not chill, but on, on edge, that's the word. On edge expression, this is really accurate actually because it looks just like the expression we have in um, the, the part where he's up to the, um, the mirror. I'll show a picture on screen up somewhere of that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also have his grills you can see there, very nicely designed. It's not a sticker, it's probably just a, um, a I'm trying to think of the word, <laughs> transfer probably, so it won't come off. We have two lights and we have this little logo here which you can't actually see what it is. Um, on top we have like his hood scoop and here is where you could see where he would be able to see what, how, what speed he's going here. But obviously it's way too small to apply the transfer there of showing like speedometers and that. But that is where he can see it when in the scene where he was all crashed up. don't know how because it's kind of 
that there's nothing more of the hood scoop because of it. As we go around here, we have this little um, blinker light there, and we have this black line that goes down, very nice, where it says G4 at the end. It also says G4 there, so I'm assuming that says G4. Uh, his wheels are very nice. The, he, do, he does have a gun inside this wheel. I'm not sure about this one, but he, this one he does. Surprised they never made a Rod Talk Red line with gun like Holy Shift World, but once again, he wasn't a main character, as main character as them, uh, so he did, never had that. Um, this is actually matte as well. Why this is um, got a sort of metallic blue, as you can tell by the twinkles there, and it looks very nice. Um, his door handle there, you can just see the outline of his door. His big plastic wind mirror is the windows. We're kind of all line, but they're the same thing. Same wheel at the back, and we have the same thing with the blinker, but it's a blue brake light. You can see his fuel cap there as well. Uh, we have his window there, his nice metallic paint above, um, above the top. We have the back of him, number plate, very big and easy to see, it says M1911A1, I'm not sure if it has any reference, I can't quite remember, but we have to, we, I think this is either a logo or where you'd put the key in to open his um, trunk. We have his two lights there with the reverse lights and his exhaust there which look very cool. I do love the back of Rod Talk Redline, I think it's probably the best rear end of a car, looks very nice there. Same thing on the other side, just exactly the same just flipped around as usual uh, here's the base if you're interested um just some tow ink disney books on uh, china you can see where his exhausts go out here very very cool and his engine parts so that is very cool there all right and so now as we go on to the damaged one like i said at the beginning of the video it appears in that warehouse where the lemons have him trapped i think this is also where we see fred pacer and um, Tyler Gremlin, two cars which I do have which are extremely rare, I had to get them from the US. Um, if you want me to review them then I can, I probably will review them anyway because I, I do like them both, uh, but yeah you can definitely that's the first time we see them. We also see I'm pretty sure Petey Pacer because he is the, he is like the blue colour of Petey Pacer just when he's not wearing his torch. Um, we see a couple other um, Gremlins and Pacers as well, if I can find pictures I'll put them on. And um, I'll also show a picture of damaged Rod Talk Red Line as well. Um, and now, see, the thing is with this one, he kind of, he does look quite a lot like the film, apart from the fact of his expression, because he wasn't scared as such. He was more, he was more sort of angry and determined to get out of there. He wasn't, like, he didn't look like this. He had more, he was more being a bit cocky and that still, so... I, you know, expression is good, but it just doesn't relate to the film, so they, that could have changed there. But apart from that, I love this car. Um, as we get onto the start here, we still have his fog lights like the other car. I'll compare the two after we finish a review. But he has a big dent here, you can feel it, and you can tell between the lights sticking out, as you can see there, and then it comes straight in. Where his lights um, once were, as you can see there, is now all crumpled in. You just about see that logo in there. Where his hood scoop, I'll keep him there as well so you can see. Where his hood scoop once was, as you can kind of see, it's no longer there. The bonnet has been rumpled up. I guess this is from when he smashes into uh, where they go into Grem like that. You see them like, pushing each other. But one thing I don't get is how Grem is completely fine, not damaged at all. But Rod gets his massive amount of damage. This wheel arch is pretty much okay, to be honest. In comparison to the other one, it's pretty fine. Got some of the sort of scratches and marks there, maybe where he's been sort of they put rubbed their tires on him. His eyes they have that white bit at the bottom as well, um, just like the other rod. And like I said, they look very sort of scared looking. Um, this is sort of a bit bent as well, it's, it's kind of got the effect of that the hood's coming up. The other side is definitely the best, the better side of this. This is a bit more on this side. You can see his wimmer is falling off there, definitely looks smaller than the normal one back of him is fine here also just with a little mark as we get into the back this is really cool with his number plate has now fallen it's gone from like that to that there you go that's probably a pretty good comparison so one his number plate has fallen his um his trunk there is all squished down into this but you can see like you can see that that um i think it is where you open the trunk isn't centered anymore his light is all smashed in there and you can see his exhaust isn't straight anymore you can see that from the base of the car as well which is also very cool you can feel all the dents here which is amazing this is such a cool car he's got dents all over his roof one there which i've actually just noticed and three there 
So there's four in total on the roof and lots of them at the back. This is where he's most damaged apart from the front, it's all crumpled. Uh, the back the sort of fender is all crumpled as well, you can feel it as you run over your finger. That's like the best thing to do with this. Some more sort of marks again. Wimmer is gone this time, got a couple dents there and this fender is just completely demolished. It's just completely rumpled up there all the way back there. So he's got the worst damage here, here and then all the way back here. This is probably this is probably the worst. The worst of it is there. Um, so that is really, really cool. I love this die car so much. Um, if you want to get him, I'd recommend getting him on eBay or something because he's actually not as much as you'd think for a car that's only released once. Um, so I'd recommend you guys going on there. You can get some for like £10, I think, which is just under £10. Dollars is just under $10. Base is pretty much the same with the exception of the exhaust pointing down, as you can see there. I'll compare them. As you can see there, this is pointing down, that's not. Um, so that's about it for the damaged one. Um, very cool die cast, like I said. Very, very cool. I love these two die casts so much. And then we'll just put we'll just put Acer and Graham in the background as well. <laughs> I think that would be quite nice to finish it off. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so thank you DMC Xbox 51 for the suggestion. I really um, enjoyed doing this review. I hope it lived up to everything you thought it would be. I hope the rest of you enjoyed this review as well and the variations of Rod Talk Redline. Um, as always, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss another review. And as always, I'll see you in the next review, guys.